Hey guys, my name is Chiliano and welcome to my YouTube channel. Episode 5 and 6 of Heartstopper. What a great way to start off Pride Month, you guys. Wave your pride fags, flags, and wear rainbow colors at Pago Bay. I am very excited. I miss Heartstopper. Like, I had a busy week with school and deadlines. So last week I couldn't give y'all a reaction, but this week I'm continuing. Yes, yes. However, I did do two album reactions last week. One by Harry Styles and the other one is Isaac Dunbar. A very underrated queer artist so if you want to check him out please do and if you want to see my reactions to them just simply look for them on my channel okay before we dive in I need to say something because the last video I stepped on some of your toes about Imogen I got let's just say a few comments <laughs> and I have to say some of you were really polite and gave me nice explanations as to why you like her character I really appreciate your input and love you guys but two things be kind about it okay I'm just someone with an opinion and if I don't fight with a character necessarily in the beginning maybe I will later and otherwise okay so what if I don't like a character mm. the comments did however enlighten me about the name of this character Harry like, okay, he deserved way more shit than I gave him in my previous videos. But I don't know why I didn't really bother to remember his name because I was like, oh, he's such a minor role. He's probably like bully number three or something in the script. But his name is actually Harry. So Harry, fuck you. At the end of the day, I want to deliver a real reaction. So if I change my mind about a character, that will be genuinely and not put on me through sad comments. You know? Okay, that's just what I wanted to say. Without further ado, let's start. Look at my favorite friend group and <laughs> Isaac. Isaac, you're a mood right now. <laughs> There's never a good time to tell someone that their crush is going on a date with someone else. <laughs> True that. If they say anything mean to Charlie, I'm going to crush them. <laughs> Okay, I like that he's really being protective as a friend, you know? The fact that he pushes his own, like, insecurities on the side because he has been bullied by them and still wants to defend Charlie if something happens, that's that's nice. That's, that's a good person right there. The hair. I can't with the hair. <laughs> it moves so perfectly. <laughs> for you to witness my incredibly erotic dance moves. Not erotic dance moves, I can with him. <laughs> I'll join him though. I want a cute dancing between you two. Oh my god, kill Joyce. Kill Joyce, you know what? I said I like the friend group, and I do. But we don't have to see them together all the time. Give us more time now. Give us more time now. Give it to me now. About our date. See, I wasn't sure if. What's wrong? My dog died last night. Oh my god. Wrong timing, Nick. <laughs> this is the worst week ever. What were you going to say about our date? <laughs> That's painfully awkward now, so don't do it. Oh my god, what is this erotic pinky touching? I can't. In class, back it up, boys. Just see, can you never not be gay for five seconds? I'm just like, can you not be gay for five minutes? <laughs> oh my god. Stop picking on people for no reason. Yeah, what the fuck, Harry? You gay for them. <laughs> you gay for them. Stop talking like that, bitch. It must be really hard when your only personality trait is rich bellend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tao. Okay, Tao. Yes. No, okay. Tao is getting on my good side again. Like, honestly, this is the first time that I'm actually seeing that Tao does this more to be protective over Charlie, rather than being, like, egocentric. I'm losing my friends, la 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 la. Mm, that wasn't it, in my opinion. But if it's really out of protection, yeah, then I, then I fully agree with him. Like, kick Harry's ass. Oh, what's up? This queen... This queen is in the show, and every time I see her, I just get instantly happy. Meanwhile, I'm pretty sure she had, like, five lines throughout the entire show so far. <laughs> Happy birthday. Like I said you didn't have to get me any. And I ignored you. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Now is the time I've been waiting for where Nick meets the friend group. Yes. Can you at least try to get to know him? Yeah. Mmm. You know, if it wasn't for them overhearing that Nick got a date with Imogen, then I think Tao should try. But this is a solid reason to be a bit more reserved. <laughs> uh, this is cute! You gotta love a cute bowling compilation. I thought you liked my own. Shut up. 
everyone ready? Stop it, you two. Stop being so damn cute. Oh no. It's his birthday. I have to. I feel like you have to talk to Nick rather than Charlie because, yeah, it is his birthday. You don't want to ruin that. He's going on a date with this girl. I get the intention, but I don't think this is the right approach. Oh, Nick is going to overhear them, isn't he? Oh. If he is even slightly mean to you, you'll murder him. I know. I was going to say, I sent him a strongly worded DM, but. <laughs> Okay, we love to see a good hug, but I'd rather see you communicate, Nick. Alice is so cute, I love her, she's one of my faves, definitely. <gasps> yes, talk, talk, talk it out, oh, please, please, I need this, I need this. You're messing with it, and I will not tolerate it. <laughs> Tao, you're not intimidating at all. Like, <laughs> it's actually quite hilarious. You actually went on a date with her? No, no. I'm just going to. <laughs> He's being honest. I love that. Like, how can Nick Nelson not be your favorite character in the show? Well, there are a lot of great characters in this show, but Nick is for sure my favorite. So. Sorry, it's a bit That's hard. cute. That's so cute. And the picture is adorable. I love it. Daily serotonin for the day is filled. Do you like me? Yes, <laughs> obviously. Oh, this is adorable. The chemistry is off the damn charts. I'm gonna kiss you so bad right now. You don't have to. I want to. You sure? Oh. Oh wow, the writers, the writers of the show, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you'll put in your script, but it's working. I'm addicted. No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. Yes, he actually sent the text. I thought this would be the scene where he would like type an entire text and then was like, mm, I'm gonna delete all of it. But yeah, Imogen deserves to know the truth. Like you can lead her on like that. This is so cute and innocent. And innocent. I love it because it's perfect for their fucking age. Yes! <gasps> Did you see that? Ah! Tao and L. Tao and L like my head. Look at the way Al is looking at Tao. My headphones are falling off. The entire world. Ah! <laughs> I have goosebumps because my ship has sailed. My ship is sailed. I don't like you like that. Depending on her reaction, that's how I'm going to see if I like her or not in this situation. Thanks. Um. Uh, that's a good, that's a good reaction. Okay, you know what? I'll take it back. Imogen is not as bad as I thought she was. You're proper thick about girls sometimes, aren't you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> aren't you, mate? <laughs> oh, his stupid voice. Okay, 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 okay. That was a good episode. Let's move on to the next one. Best LGBT movies. Um, well, I can tell you that this is one of the best LGBT f <gasps> Moonlight as it should, but <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can tell you that this is one of the best LGBTQ shows of that I've ever seen like definitely together with Pose Pose and Heartstopper. Yes. 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 No other shows compare and that's not a period People represent okay Nick is my Nick is my favorite character yes then again <laughs> I'm sorry that sucks for Imogen like he's not even gay he's bi and he still don't want her <laughs> Ooh, she made it IG official mm-hmm mm-hmm yep yep everybody loving it as they should you don't look like a lesbian what the fuck texting town again interesting Interesting indeed. What are you implying? They are implying something that is right, that is in the stars, and that will happen. I'm manifesting it. Watch out, dick nozzle. Oh my god, the dick is back. Why didn't you just throw something at me again? Like your last remaining brain cell? <laughs> Ooh, okay, Tao. With the comebacks. You're too pretty to be a lesbian. What the fu- You're a lesbian, what a waste. <laughs> what are these people? Roaches! 
so cool and brave of you? Uh, uh, uh I don't, I don't get how these people have the audacity. <laughs> Lesbians are so disgusting. What is their problem? Oh, this makes me sick. Honey, Tora. Yes, more crossover between these two. I love it. I mean, when we were 13, I thought we were going to be boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so cute. That's cute, though. Am I having lunch with your boyfriend today? No, I'm waiting for your mum, actually. <laughs> Tao is the best clapback. I love that for him. Get a day. Does it feel good to have told someone? Yeah. Really does. That is so nice. I am here for this. I am cheesing all the way through both episodes. Like, ah, uh, chef's kiss. I told her we're together. What? Oh! <laughs> this shot is beautiful. Like, I praise the show for its writing so much, but the cinematography too is stunning. <laughs> Darcy, <laughs> I love it, the meddling gaze. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, they're so quirky, I love it. So you're just here for the milkshakes then? I said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's there for you too, babe. Although I do think Tao is the type to say, I don't want to get into a relationship because that could ruin our friendship, blah, 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 blah. It could go that route. You're lucky to have me. <laughs> Not this subtle Darcy. Oh. Strawberry, okay. Banana again. <laughs> Banana. <laughs> oh my god, the accent really came out. It was giving HTO. Banana. <laughs> no, clear. Come on, clear. You can't say that forever. You should be really good friends with the person you're dating. Darcy, don't push it. Don't push it, though. We thought it would be fun to go on a triple date. You and Charlie. Yay! Triple date. Yay for triple dates. Look at all my ships standing next to each other. What a great shot. I really love you. Oh, I love you too. It's fine. I don't want to do the concert thing anyway. Mm, I I feel so bad for Tara. This is too cute. I love it. Gay enough to me. <laughs> Darcy is for real like the funniest on this show. Like I love her sense of humor. <gasps> oh, they're looking for them. Oh, that's so cute. You're not supposed to be on stage like right now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is so wholesome. I love it. We gotta love good wholesome content. It makes me so happy. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be okay. You? I love the parallels between them. Oh God, I love their friendship. And we don't even get to hear them play. Oh no, what is this? Well guys, those were episodes five and six of Heartstopper. I'm so happy, like, ah. Uh, this show, I don't know, it's so wholesome and it's no, it's drama free. Like there is drama in their lives, obviously, but I don't know, it's nothing like really, truly, devastatingly serious. And it's not surrounded by trauma. And I love that. I love that. I love that we have a positive show. And this doesn't take away from queer shows that deal with trauma because trauma, let's face it, is a common thing that happens in queer culture. Like it is, it is like, like it is part of the experience and some people are more fortunate than others in their experience because of intersectionality with race gender class everything so I'm not saying that it is bad to show like queer trauma because it is essential and it is good to show different kinds of experiences but this type of experience like the positive wholesome one is almost never shown and I love Heartstopper for that. We're going to finish this show like the final two episodes and I'm not ready. Like honestly I don't even know what I'm going to watch next after this like I live week by week so I feel like I'm going to fall into a deep pit after I finish <laughs> after I finish the show. But 
that I'm going to keep you all updated on what I'm going to post next after this. Could be a show, could be a movie. Like I'm for sure reacting to Shadow and Bone season two. Yes, the reactions for that first season. I'm definitely going to continue that. Maybe Fade the Wings Saga season two and Young Royals is highly requested like i watched season one but the upcoming season maybe i'll react to that too and maybe i'll react to some queer related content this month because you know pride month just keep an eye on my community post because sometimes i will post a poll and you can vote on what i will react to next make sure to like subscribe and share if you care and you can also follow me on my instagram right here well that's it guys ciao